In this example, we've gone ahead and taken the permutations and we've orchestrated them around the drums. You're going to notice, depending on the rhythmic pattern, sometimes I would go up to the high tom, come back and go to the low tom, but you'll notice on some of the three note patterns, I opted to go around the drums because of the configuration of the drums. Now you don't have to do this, and if I were to, if I had done them in the four note, or uh, in the up, down, uh, configuration it probably would have made the rhythms a little more confusing. So basically what I did was the, the, the groupings that were in three I went around the drums so you could hear, um, hear more clearly what the actual pattern was but feel free to orchestrate these in any way you wish. After you've learned the permutations I think one of the really important things to remember is what, when I played them in the recorded examples I, I played them for the most part at the same dynamic level and that was done by design so you could clearly hear what the rhythms were but uh, once we get comfortable with that um, we, we really need to have inflection in our playing we need to be able to have the ability to play very soft um, a lot of people refer to these notes as ghost notes and we have to have you know peaks and valleys in our playing so where you know sometimes we need to accent things and sometimes we want to play things very softly this is how a groove develops um, a life of its own so if we get through all of these permutations, a, a couple of other ideas that you may want to try is maybe you might want to use um, uh, one of the famous drum books and uh, play through some of the rhythms in conjunction with one of the ostinatos if you want to challenge yourself on a reading level. Or maybe you might want to start um, assembling some of these permutations into some of the rhythms that you would hear on recordings. You're going to hear a lot of these, these note groupings. I mean, there's only a certain number of ways that we can play things. And um, also remember in this style of music, especially in Afro-Cuban uh, Afro music, we're dealing with duple and triple rhythms that are happening simultaneously. And uh, although the uh, recorded exercises were done solely as duple and solely as triple, um, if you listen to the demos, I think that you're going to notice that there's a lot of combination of duple and triple happening simultaneously. And this is the goal that we want to, to, to strive for, to make sure that we can move in and out of duple and triple rhythms and, and uh, making sure that the time remains very solid.